Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Uh, welcome. We will talk about the problem 42 in chapter 6. In this one, you can see there is a table. We consider the model about the circle motion, the moons of the Jupiter. So the moons of Jupiter, this is Jupiter, and the moons do the circle motion around it. In this one, we need to determine the mass of the Jupiter. So how can we decide this capital mass? And for this one, you can see this small m is given, and the period is given, and also the distance. We can consider the r is also given for these moons, right? So in this one, first thing for this circle motion, especially in these cases, we consider the gravitational force equals becomes the central force. So the gravitational force between the Jupiter and the moon equals the mass of the moon times the circle acceleration, v squared divided by r. In this way, we can find the speed of the moons is just equal to this one, this term. And also, because we can see uh, the period and the distance is also given. So you can see for one complete circle, the distance it covered is just 2 pi r, the time taking is t. Therefore, the speed is just 2 pi r divided by time t, do you agree? In this case, we can write these two equations together, we get this equation, and then we do some tricks and get the mass in this function. And then we look at this uh, function, this mass is the mass of the Jupiter, and then 4 pi squared, this is the constant, r cubed, this r is the distance from the Jupiter to the moon, and then g is a constant, t is also given in this chart. So first, I want to ask you to find the Jupiter's mass by considering the moon of this Io. So this moon Io, you just input the period and the distance, you can get the mass. And also, second one, tell you, can you determine the mass of the Jupiter by using some other three moons? So you can say you have another three moons, right? You still, same thing, you can just input the corresponding period and distance and to check uh, whether this Jupiter's mass is same or not. So we can see after we get this equation, we input the known quantities inside, we find the Jupiter mass in this one, if we just consider the moon Io. And also for another moon, we can consider Europe. This moon, we input the uh, corresponding um, the period and distance, we find the mass of the Jupiter is same, right? That's, Similarly, for another two moons, still we get the same value about the mass of the Jupiter. So we can say, yes, this is a constant. Thank you.